Well, great day everyone. I hope that all's going well for you. We're down here in the pasture again. Got some scripture I'd like to uh, share with you and point out uh, some how the word works right here in uh, downtown Alexander City, Alabama. This scripture is found in Isaiah the 28th chapter and it's out of the Message Bible. It says this, Listen to me now, give me your closest attention, and here God is talking specifically about farmers and farming, about plowing and planting. And he says, after they prepared the ground, don't they plant? They know exactly what to do and when to do it. Their God is their teacher. He goes on to say, the farmer knows how to treat each kind of seed from the delicate herbs to the hardy wheat and barley. He learned it all from God who knows everything about when and how and where. I want to talk to you just a little bit about uh, today about uh, plowing and planting. You know, this field behind of us, uh, we spent a, a couple of weeks out here scratching the uh, dirt up and putting down uh, some seed, four or five different kinds of seed for uh, winter grazing early spring grazing you know the time to think about a harvest is not when you need it it's before you need it and the first need that we have is seed and first we've got to work the ground and then we put the seed in and then we believe god to make it to uh, make it grow but god knows when god knows how and god knows where down here in the south it's a little different in the north up north most of our seeding uh, was in the springtime uh, and then we would have a fall harvest. But down here, uh, it's a little closer to year round that we can work the ground and we have cold season grasses and we have warm season uh, crops. So the Bible says that God knows how and when and where and teaches us how to, how to treat each type of seed. The when of that seed, the how of that seed, and the where of that seed. You know, God has given us all time, energy, and resources. So we spent some time, took the time, uh, and we invested our time. We also uh, took some energy to do this because we don't have a lot of fancy uh, equipment. Uh, we uh, went over the ground with a very simple harrow and then we did a hand spreader. You have to fill it up with maybe 20 pounds or so of seed, and then you walk it out over the ground and spread it by hand, sowing like they uh, have done for many, many different uh, years before there was fancy equipment. And then, of course, we had to, uh, it cost for fuel. There's a cost involved uh, for uh, the seed itself, and you know, uh, it's gonna cost us something uh, to have a harvest in our life. You know, many people today, we're very far removed from sowing seed and reaping a harvest. We just go to the grocery store and there's the harvest is, or we go for goods and services, seems like they're the harvest. The harvest is there and it's immediate. However, uh, we're in the time frame that Jesus was uh, teaching us these things and he said it was the perfect time. God chose that time because all of the kingdom of God and all of uh, earth and heaven operates on this principle of seed, time, and harvest. And we've got to know how. Uh, we've got to know when and how and where, and God is willing to teach us if we're willing to learn. So I just wanted to share those things with you. I want to pray with you. Perhaps you're in need of not just faith, uh, for uh, a harvest, but also the patience and also the know-how uh, and the wherewithal to get that job done. So Father, we just thank you in Jesus' name for our time together. Thank you that you know exactly what to do. You've always known before the foundations of the world what you were going to do. And for your people, you have determined to teach us and to train us uh, and to show us how Show us the when, show us the how, and show us the where of how to have harvest in our life. How to treat each different type of seed from the delicate little small herbs, the small things, the small daily details that we need to attend to as well 
as the greater things, the bigger things, the future things uh, that you have for our life and your purposes, your plans, and your provisions. We thank you for it. We're willing to be taught, so we ask you to teach us, Lord, how to effectively use our time, the energies, the health, the talents, the abilities, the in, in intelligence that you've given us to work with you and to work for you. And also, Lord, how to take advantage of and leverage the great resources that you have provided for us. For you always provide seed for the sower, which when we plant it becomes bread for the eater. Thank you, Lord, that my friends will have happy sowings and growings and reapings in the name of Jesus. Well, we thank you that uh, you joined us today and pray this has been helpful uh, to you. You know, we're all in a learning process here and we'll see how all this comes out. We may not be able to uh, really get cattle on it until February, but that's all, uh, that's all right. We'll be, uh, we were earlier in the fall, so uh, in the sowing, so we'll be earlier in the spring in the reaping. Once again, you remember this, you are so very blessed by God, so you be at rest.